Yo, 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 yo. It's your boy Keys, aka Keys Open Doors. And by now, I'm pretty sure you seen my last video about how COVID-19 shutdown has caused the dairy industry to take a big toll because nobody's buying any dairy products or milk. And if you haven't, you need to like, share, and subscribe right now. But in addition to that, recent reports have shown that pig plants are being shut down too. Yeah, no more porky pig for you. You can't eat our friends anymore. It's crazy. Look across the globe. All these things that are unnecessary, these industries that we spend millions of dollars for, for so-called food when it's really just beans, we're spending money to kill, slaughter, and it's unnecessary because we spent millions of dollars on an unnecessary business. Check out this article. The world's biggest pork processor, Smithfield Food, said on Sunday it will shut a U.S. plant indefinitely after dozens of employees tested positive for the coronavirus. It is one of several U.S. meat and poultry processors that have put operations on hold, leaving farmers without an outlet for livestock and crimping the availability of meat at retail stores in a major disruption of the country's food supply chain. The plant in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, is one of the nation's largest pork processing facilities, accounting for around 4-5% to of U.S. pork production, according to the company. South Dakota Governor Christy Noem said on Saturday, over 200 Smithfield employees have now tested positive for the virus, accounting for over half of the state's cases. Noam and Sioux Falls Mayor Paul Tenhaken have recommended closing the plant of almost 4,000 workers for at least two weeks. Our top priority continues to be public health and minimizing the spread of this virus. That's why we're taking the work we're doing with Smithfield and the conversation we're having with them very, very seriously. Smithfield Chief Executive Ken Sullivan said in a statement on Sunday that the company will continue paying employees for the next two weeks. The company has still been running its plants to supply American consumers during the outbreak. Smithfield said it will resume operations in Sioux Falls after further direction from local, state, and federal officials.